Hello everyone. Welcome to the online classes of CSS3. I am glad to introduce the first lesson positive attitude from unit 1. The topic is very important for you because your attitude decides your altitude, aptitude and amplitude. Now let's get started. First of all, I will begin with attitude. What is attitude? The way you look at things is attitude. I mean, the way you react to a person, a place, a thing or a situation represents your attitude. Harvard University conducted a survey and found that when a person gets a job or a promotion, 85% of the reason is because of his attitude and only 15% of it is because of his intelligence and knowledge. There is a saying that ability is what you are capable of doing, motivation determines what you do and attitude determines how well you do it. Attitude is the most important term which applies to every sphere of life including one's personal and professional life. Can an executive be a good executive without a good attitude? Can a student or an employee be good in their roles without a good attitude? Suppose if a tower stands at 190.8 meters and if the total weight of the tower is 10,884 tons, then 6,349 tons are below the ground. That means approximately 60% of the weight of the tower is below the ground. This shows that some of the greatest buildings have the strongest foundations. Just like a great building stands upon a strong foundation, a great personality builds upon attitude. That's why attitude is said to be the foundation for success. Our minds are thought factories and can manufacture either positive thoughts or negative thoughts. Only we can decide which thoughts to manufacture. Those who want to be happy should train their minds to create happy thoughts. Because every day we pick up little worries, stress which must be emptied from our minds. If we don't discard them, they are tend to poison our minds. Watch your thoughts, they become our, your words and watch your words, they become your actions. Watch your actions, they become your habits. Watch your habits, it becomes your behavior. And watch your behavior, it is your attitude. If you watch or analyze If you watch or analyze your thoughts, words, actions and habits, you will be able to root out the negativity from your mind. Now I am going to give you some examples of different attitudes. A father and son were traveling by a local bus. The father asked the conductor for directions to a particular place. The conductor's reply was very rude, almost insulting. After a while, the son asked his father why he did not retaliate. The father replied, Son, the conductor was rude because that is his nature. He has probably lived with his behavior for years. But I am mature enough to tolerate it for a minute or two minutes. What an attitude. Isn't it inspirational? Dear students, we can learn one important model from this that we should not sink to the level of the person who insults us. Always stay on the high ground where the stones can't hurt you. Now I will share a Japanese attitudinal story which is different from the first one. Once there was a very uh, talented judo master. Judo is a Japanese martial art and he had defeated all the others in judo. This success made him very proud and arrogant. One day, the proud judo master was passing near the house of a tea master. He wanted to enter the house for a tea, but he was stopped by a young gatekeeper. The judo master was furious for being stopped. He took out his sword and said, I will cut you into pieces and while I am slicing you, I will not even blink my eyes. Then the end gatekeeper replied, Go ahead, 
while you are slicing me i will not blink my eyes for i don't have any fear on hearing this the judo master stepped back and left the tea master's house what an amazing example for having attitude there is an old saying that fortune favors the brave so never run away from your problems look straight into the eye of the problem and you will get the solution automatically believe in yourself not into with egotism but with humble realistic self confidence let's move on to the next topic negative attitude what is negative attitude and you find yourself wishing to have what someone else has when you feel jealous when you feel inferior and always feel bad about yourself and compare yourself unfavorably to others then you have a negative attitude in simple words looking at the dark side of the everything in life is negative thinking which can lead to stress anxiety depression ill health and a purposeless life william james of harvard university said that the greatest discovery of my generation is that human beings can change their lives by changing their attitudes a negative mindset is the result of uncontrolled emotions if you have that negative outlook on life you have to change your attitude but we get so comfortable with our negativity that even when the change is for better we don't want to accept it we stay with the negativity why people are negative some people criticize no matter what it doesn't matter how well something is done they will always find fault with everything they criticize as if they will win a prize at a contest they will find fault with every person and every situation they go around and telling everybody how bad things are and blame the whole world for their problems all that they do is causing more tension for themselves and for others around them they always look at the negative side they are unhappy even when they don't have any problems thus they spend most of their life at complaining and can't enjoy their health because they think they may be sick tomorrow they not only expect the worst but make the worst of whatever happens negative people always say i don't know how to do it i may fail it's too difficult i don't have resources i don't have enough time i am from poor background i don't have enough encouragement they say all these because they don't have confidence they have fear of failure they overestimate problems they always listen to other people they suspect everything they don't have hope in future from our next slide is stay away from negative influence people with negative attitudes often blame their parents teachers partners the stars fate and luck for their failures don't let negative people drag you down remember that a person's character is not judged by the company they keep but also by the company they avoid always associate yourself with achievers thinkers especially positive people if your attitude uh, is negative your life is restricted your success at work will be less when you are aware of your uh, negative attitude then why don't you change to change your attitude from positive to negative you have to get away from the past you have to dust yourself off and bounce back you have to put your dreams and move forward you have to start looking for what is right in a person instead of looking for what is wrong you have to forget the mistakes of the past and focus on greater achievements of the future so dear students attitude makes a person makes a life colorful beautiful and purposeful so live your life with a great attitude being you and being cool with that living with the sense of awareness of the world around you then i think you will live a life that is rich and truly awesome 
with this i am going to conclude this session on attitude and negative attitude you will have another session on positive attitude in our next video thanks for listening thank you